Hey, I hope you guys are doing well. I know that I'm sharing this on a day that is not the best day to share on social media, right? Usually the best days to share on, share on social media are uh, early weekdays of the week, Monday, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, somewhere between 6 a.m. and uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time. That's when you get the most traffic. Just a quick lesson there for uh, social media folks out there. At least that's what it was last time I looked it up. Maybe it's changed. So if you're seeing this and you like it, do me a favor, share it, like it, uh, tag a friend, do whatever you got to do uh, to get this out there. I just wanted to share something that was on my heart. Just got back from the uh, Global Leadership Summit. Uh, one, I'm highly impressed with that. It's, it's great. They're really changing uh, the face of the GLS, and it's uh, just an incredible thing that they're doing. Uh, so two full days of just uh, great message after message after message. And the theme from beginning to end is just amazing to watch that develop. So they don't all plan their talks together, and yet then yet... Uh, at the end, somehow, they all line up and bring home basically the same message with these nuggets of gold in there with these random messages every now and then, which is just the coolest thing to me. Um, but here's what I want to share. It has nothing to do with any of that. It's something that was impressed upon my heart when I was just standing in my kitchen. And that is, what is your reputation? Right? What is your reputation? When you meet someone and you tell them stories about your life, when you sit there and they ask, hey, you know, Joe Agro, what are you about? And they tell stories. You tell your story about what your life is about. Get away from me, you fly. Um, does your story seem unbelievable? Are you living radical enough in your faith that your story, excuse the language, if you will, seems like a bunch of BS, right? I want my life. When I tell my stories... I want people to go, oh, man, that's really cool. When they walk away, they go, he's such a, he's so full of it. You know, he's BSing me. He's telling me all these lies, right? But two, three, five, ten years later, I want them to see the history of Joe Agro and say, I can't believe he was telling the truth. That is really the radical Jesus-following life that he's living. That's my goal, right? And I remember a couple of years ago, uh, I was talking to somebody, and I started telling them stories about what we do over in Ghana, I think I even told him I get bit by a monkey once, which I did. I should never have touched somebody's pet monkey. I never give that detail out till now, maybe. Hmm. Anyway, so you tell all these stories, right? I'm telling these stories about Ghana and the amazing things that are going on over there, the attitudes of the people, uh, the stuff that we do. And people are like, you know, I could tell in this guy's face, he's like, yeah, Joe Agro, that's cool. Yeah, what a bunch of BS, right? Didn't believe me. Now, here I am. I'm five years into a relationship with this guy, and he and I have incredibly heartfelt, deep conversations about life and ministry and business and even Ghana from time to time, right? The goal is to live your life so radically for Jesus that your story sounds unbelievable and people doubt you. But after they get to know you, they envy the adventure and the mission and the destiny that you're living out. They want to live up to that level. That's part of being a leader. That's part of showing people what it means to follow Christ. It means giving all that you have. And guys, listen, I certainly have not reached uh, perfection in that level. I might not even do it well. But that's my goal, and I know i got at least one guy that I probably did that to. And so I'm just going to encourage you and challenge you to go out and live your life so radically that it is unbelievable. I'll say it again. Live your life so radically that it is unbelievable. Don't hesitate. Just go for it. Let time and performance, and works, and all those things that we do as believers that we accomplish, tell your story and validate it. Does that make sense? If it makes sense to you, I challenge you, share this video, like this video, tag a friend in this video. God bless.